Hello learners the topic of discussion today is unethical practices in research so let us see when we write any paper or when we conduct any research what are some of the things that we must consider we must uh, keep uh, keep in mind that these um, are unethical and we must make sure that we are not involved in anything which is unethical while we are conducting a research or when we are trying to publish our research so what can be these unethical practices like publishing the same paper in two different journals without telling the editors this is definitely in unethical when we uh, send our papers for publication we must be absolutely sure that the paper uh, one pa one paper or one research study cannot be published at two different journals so hiding this information from the from the editors is definitely unethical the moment our research is published by any uh, or published in any uh, becomes a property of that journal so definitely we cannot uh, publish our paper on in two different journals now also submitting the same paper to different journals without telling the editors that is another unethical practice which means that uh, we might feel that yes we may submit at one at one uh, in like our paper in one journal uh, and then also in another journal feeling that yes it may be uh, accepted at one place or maybe rejected at the other place but uh if you are submitting your paper in one journal and then you feel that no uh, you would be willing to su like submit it in the other journal then definitely you must uh, first inform the first uh, journal or the editors of the first journal and you should definitely revoke your paper from there then only you can send the uh, uh, the paper to the other journal another unethical practice can be including a like, like the name of a colleague or a friend as an author on a paper in return for a favor so if suppose you have written a research paper then definitely writing a research paper or uh, conducting a research study is a very serious uh, uh, like it is something which is hurt and it is something which is uh, which uh, uh, you cannot uh, favor somebody by giving their name or uh, putting their name as a co-author so if uh, the other person has not made a very serious contribution to the paper then definitely as uh, favoring somebody favoring somebody you should definitely not be putting that person's name as a co-author another unethical practice can be discussing confidential data uh, uh, from a paper if suppose you are a reviewer of any uh, article and you get different articles for review if you are the editor or if you are a reviewer then you should not be discussing these the, like the different articles of uh, the other researchers with your colleagues because this may be confidential data another an unethical practice can be using data or ideas or various methods um, uh, like uh, while you are reviewing any paper uh, then at that time the data or uh, their data you should not definitely be using for your own research then uh, another thing that can be wrong is trimming the outliers without discussing the reasons uh, now what does that mean trimming outliers means what whenever we are collecting any data and we we find certain uh, like extreme values in the data because these extreme values sometimes may uh, change uh, uh, like the uh, like the uh, the averages can be changed because of the extreme values the uh, data may uh, you can say that the, the conclusions can uh, be di can be different uh, because of the extreme values so sometimes these extreme values uh, which are known as outliers these uh, researchers are some uh, they feel like trimming these outliers but that would be a kind of manipulation of data so definitely that shouldn't uh, be avoided in fact that should never be done 
and if at all you are trimming the outliers if you feel that that is not uh, that will not impact the research much so you should definitely discuss it uh, the reason or you should uh, give a proper reason for trimming those outliers another another unethical practice may be the use of inappropriate statistical technique in order to enhance the significance of your research so um, the purpose of research is not um, is uh, not to show that you are uh, that you are proving that your your research is very very important or is very significant um, research must be true so if you you not using proper statistical techniques or uh, the right kinds of text tests uh, just in order to enhance your research that will be wrong that means you should be using the right kind of tests so that the data that comes out or the conclusions that come out of your research they are correct they are valid then another unethical practice can be conducting a review of literature that for the contributions of other people in the field or relevant prior work this means that whenever we are conducting any kind of research we should definitely be uh, reviewing the literature that has already been published in the same area uh, or the field of interest uh, interest that means whenever we can whenever we conduct any research we should go uh, through uh, the already published data and not only going through it or not only reviewing these we should definitely be giving acknowledging proper uh, contributions of the other people who have worked in this field uh, their research papers um another set of uh, unethical practices can be stretching the truth on a grant application in order to convince reviewers that your project will make a significant contribution to your field this means that when we try to uh, unnecessarily uh, like create an impression that our research will make a uh, like extremely big contribution to the field um, when we are absolutely clear about uh, the uh, the significance that our research will make will make well, this means that uh, sometimes we try to project that uh, our research is uh, extremely beneficial when the truth is not so so that is definitely unethical another unethical practice can be failing to keep good research records and maintain research data for a reasonable period of time so you cannot definitely say that you have lost the data on the basis of which you had concluded or you had recommended certain things so you need to keep these records proper again another thing can be not reporting an adverse if in a human research experiment this means that whenever we are conducting any research on humans if there is any uh, if something adverse happened while conducting any experiment that must be reported if we are withholding that information this is something which is definitely unethical other unethical practices can be stealing of supplies or books or data any kind of stealing definitely is wrong making unauthorized copies of data making unauthorized copies of papers or computer programs and all that is definitely another unethical practice that is quite prevalent in researches so we must take care of all these unethical practices in research and we must make sure that we are not involved in any of these thank you